from 1973, It's American Graffiti. This is a nostalgic portrait of what it was like to be a teenager in a small California town in 1962, and it was based on Lucas's own real-life experiences coming of age in the early 60s in his hometown of Modesto, California. George Lucas had made only one feature film before American Graffiti, the 1971 dystopian sci-fi film THX 1138. That debut had been produced and made possible by Lucas's mentor, Francis Ford Coppola. While he was studying film at the University of Southern California, Lucas had won a scholarship to work with Coppola at Warner Brothers. Coppola also believed in American Graffiti and signed on to produce this film as well, but he had a hard time selling it to a distributor. Every major studio turned it down before Universal finally and hesitantly agreed to release it after spending six months thinking about whether it had any commercial value. The movie doesn't follow a conventional plot. Instead, it weaves together fragmented vignettes about four different high school seniors. George Lucas made the film in 28 days on a budget of $700,000. And when it hit theaters in 1973, it grossed more than $55 million. It became the sleeper hit of the year and also spawned numerous invitations, including the hit TV series Happy Days. It also turned out to be a launching pad for some of the most promising up-and-coming talent in Hollywood in the early 70s. That list includes cast members Richard Dreyfuss, Harrison Ford, Ron Howard, Cindy Williams, Paul Lamatt, Candy Clark, Charles Martin Smith, and Suzanne Somers. As for George Lucas, the success of this film allowed him to focus on making his dream project, a film that the New York Times described in 1973 as an adventure in outer space. Four years later, that would, of course, be called Star Wars. From 1973, here is American Graffiti. American Graffiti! Where were you in 62? That special one and jump into your candy colored custom or your screaming machine, cruise downtown and catch American Graffiti. American Graffiti. Baby, what's that? It's a movie. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Go back in time. Where were you in 62? Is that you in that beautiful car? Jeez, what a waste of machinery. One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Five, six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're gonna rock around the clock tonight. What did you, what did you say? Rock. Someone wants me. Someone roaming the streets wants me. And I bet you're smart enough to get us some brew. A ballpoint pen, a pint of old Harper. Okay, you got an ID for the liquor? Not until I left it in the car. You'll have to get it before. Oh, well, I... I also... I forgot the car. We're finally getting out of this turkey town. You just can't stay 17 forever. You never get tired of going to daddy with somebody that ain't around. I'm up for grand. Well, that'll be the day. If I had a boyfriend, he'd pound you. What's wrong? Go to hell. Get your boogaloos out, baby. The Wolfman oh, is everywhere. Sixteen candles. You know Toby Juarez? We killed him last night. Excuse me, I think we've had an accident. Well, I won't report you this time, but next time, just watch it, will you? I can dig it. It's one of those great old movies about romance, racing, and rock and roll. Oh, American Graffiti. American Graffiti. Where were you in 62? American Graffiti was a runaway hit in 1973, and it earned five Academy Award nominations, including for Best Picture, for Candy Clark as Best Supporting Actress, and two nominations for George Lucas as director and co-writer. 
in interviews at the time, Lucas was open about the fact that American Graffiti was closely based on his own teenage years in Modesto, California. It all happened to me, he said, but I sort of glamorized it. I spent four years of my life cruising the main street of my hometown. I started out as Terry the Toad, but then I went on to be John Milner, the local drag race champion, and then I became Kurt Henderson, the intellectual who goes to college. Lucas said they were all composite characters based on his life and the lives of some of his friends.